Oh, I agree to salutations. This is Pandora the Eclectic, as you can already tell from the title card, beginning of every single video I've ever made. Yes, yes, I, I'm now fully aware of that. Took a few years, took a few months, but it finally happened now, didn't it? Uh, anyways, I'm just thinking. I guess I love to watch, uh, as you know, through watching television and all that stuff. We see a lot of violent shit, and no, 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 I don't want you guys to take it this way. Um, I, I don't want you guys to think I'm some censorship Nazi, as you know, all the others. But I thought that would be an interesting topic today. Having to do with the Bible. Oh joy. The Bible. So much fun. Yeah, I know. But it's Sunday, and I'm bored, and I gotta do something. And, as you know, as an agnostic Christian, I love to talk about how incredibly stupid it can be sometimes. And also, how stupid. It is that we believe that there is no violence in the world whatsoever. And that these said people don't believe that probably some of it was caused by it. In their own religion. So, let's go. Let's see. Now, why I say this? Why I wanted to make a video about this? Like I said, just dealing with watching television and you bring up, oh my god, all the violence our kids are shown. Oh my god, video games. Oh my god, violence in video games. Yeah, because let's see, stuff that God has done that was a little bit of violence. We probably could start off with. We could start in Genesis, probably somewhere, I think, uh, I Mind you, this is the Old Testament, but still. Leave it to me. Here we are. Noah's, Noah's Ark. Or, well, you know basically talks, I if you go to the game, part of that, and, you know, fall of man, and this is in, like, the, uh, I believe I have the new King James version, and, but still, violence is violence, so, anyways, yeah, it talks about how people on Earth are just being absolutely horrible, you know, thanks to Adam and Eve, and then their original sin, which, you know, God, if you didn't want them to eat it, why did you put it there in the first freaking place? But whatever. Yeah. Um. Maybe he came to think, uh, Adam. Not think, but. <laughs> um. Yeah. And he got looked down the earth and saw all his all of his creation, all the people of his creation acting crazy and acting a fool or whatever word you want to describe people being violent. And basically his brilliant idea of making the world a much better place is uh what if it all just um Bloody, just vanished! Kaput! Just went away! Via a flood. Yeah. Yeah, God cares very deeply for us. Yes, yes, He does. Mm hmm. Yeah, and, and He's not violent at all. Of course, now we have to give Him credit. He doesn't kill one family. You hear that? 
family. He doesn't kill one family. But let's also be realistic. Yeah, one out of how many families, we don't really know. Probably thousands. It could be that. Hence why I think Republicans in this country continue to deny climate change, because, uh... Why, it really... It, and actually, to be honest, when you think about it honestly, uh, Republicans, um... Or any climate change deniers at all, it doesn't matter if you're Republican or not, uh, in this case. Um, those who deny climate change, and based on uh, using the Bible and all that stuff, what do you have to lose? Because God only knows, it might be your God telling you, yeah, I'm going to get rid of all the sinners on the world. At least... You be acknowledging fucking climate change. Even if, even if it's within your own goddamn Bible. Huh? But at the same time, you had to blame someone for it. Huh? That'd be the downside, which you probably already do anyways. However, uh. Which, well, in this case, you really can't blame gay people, because it doesn't say just gay people doing bad things. Oh, ho, 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 no. Includes you, too. Well, um, I'd probably say, oh, parts of the Bible where it um, actually advocates for violence. But I believe the big kiss has a part where it says to kill a preacher's daughter if, you know, she's been slandering and in fact not just kill her, but kill her father. Real nice! Real fucking nice! Yeah! There you go, God! Thank you! Uh, then finally we get... Now, I'm skipping ahead to the New Testament because, frankly, you know, most people say, oh, psh, bullshit. He doesn't advocate for it anymore. He wants peace now. No, motherfuckies. Did anyone read the part where Jesus says, and now mind you, again, this could advocate for violence. It may not actually be violence. But it does say, hey, I believe Jesus did support um, sorry, just looking. Yep, but it does talk about Jesus. Uh, say what he came to do. I believe was to tear apart the household, which was, I guess, he was supposed to separate his father from his son, and his son from his father, and his daughter from his, from, from the mother, and mother-in-law, and from her daughter-in-law. Huh? Which kind of explains most of, if not all, sitcoms as of forever. Because there have been tons of people who, uh, probably advocated for the idea of separation of these two, even though it probably happens naturally. Maybe they just never got along. Huh. But, who knows? However, I could say to the whole idea of God being peaceful, yeah, peaceful. Peaceful. Okay. This is Pandora the Eclectic telling you to all keep it frosty as I go eat my own damn hat. That. Uh, yeah, um. I want you to know that I am a vegetarian and I don't eat. Yeah, I've. I wanted to let you all know. 
I'd be a vegetarian, and I don't eat human beings, because it's just, when I eat human beings, I'd be cannibalism, that'd be worse, but, you know, I'm a vegetarian, and I don't support the killing and harming of animals. So, for some reason, I guess, having a bunch of children who probably work to give me this hat, and then eating it. Kinda just put this all in perspective now, doesn't it? Anyways.